Alright, I am hot. Oh man, I'm the funny bone. Drew and Ryder's advice for fat people. Now if you know me personally, he asked me in person, Harley, give me your cold, hard, tough love, straight up, no bullshit, honest fucking advice. I'm gonna tell you, I ain't gonna bullshit you, I ain't gonna smile and pretend I'm your mate. And afterwards go, who the fuck, that's a clown. I ain't gonna be one of those people who'll take a selfie, put your arm around you, and then over here I'm like that. You know, in my head, I'm like, fuck, who's this clown? Uh -uh. You ask me your, for my honest opinion, do it or what the fuck should I do? I'm gonna tell you straight up. Right. I'm here to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. Now, I've done the video about the yucky emo sweet potatoes. Off the chart, off the chart sweetness, the goodness. So my advice to fat people is, get strict with your diet. Become obsessed. If, if, people, if people don't say you're obsessed about your nutrition, then you're eating too much shit. And you're hanging around people who need to get, they need to get their nutrition better. I'm not in any stims right now. People say, how are you off your chops right now? I ain't on nothing. Not a single stim in my body. No Ritalin, no Adderall, no cocaine, no heroin, no H-bombs, no coffee, no caffeine, no tea, no nothing. Just good nourishment, high bricks nourishment. When you get enough nutrition from your food, you won't need stimulants to get shit done. Because you'll be getting enough calories, sweet water, sugar, all right? Sometimes I do use stims on occasion for like time trials or certain athletic endeavors, yes. Like everyday stuff, you don't need anything, just get it done. Get nutrition in you. Sleep, water, sugar. Spin everywhere. So anyway, fat people, fat friends. People have seen me, follow me, if you've been following me for the last 10 years on YouTube or the last 15 years on social media where I've been coaching people, uh, people say I've seen incredible transformations, Harley. From 150 kilos down to 75, maybe low 70s now, that guy from the UK was, cycles kid. You know, just, just come in here, and getting obsessed. You have to do that. You have to come to Thailand. We don't have to, but if you want the best results ever, going to Thailand and living like a fucking monk. I eat rice, I eat sugar, I eat fruit, I do fruit juice, I do maybe some Sprite's actually shit here now. Since the sugar tax come to Thailand, the Sprite's gone downhill. God help us all. So there's another Schweppes soda that's pretty good. But the sweet fruit juice here is better, good enough. You know, so all these things, you want to come here, Ride your bike everywhere. No, you know, say fuck off taxis. No, no taxis. No cars. Just ride your bike every day, cruising around, exploring, wearing out back tires. There's another, there's another girl here, and she's lost weight. She looks totally different. She's flying up the door now, and she's wearing out rear tires. I want to explore the other day. If you look at her from two years ago to today, it's like different person. Could, could be her fit sister. You know, totally different situation. So I've seen so many crazy transformations. People come to Chiang Mai, come here for a few months or a year or a couple of years, and just get so fucking lean. Same in Adelaide, I've seen people move to Adelaide and go, I'm just gonna train the motherfucking house down and get an insane results. Thailand's good because it's so cheap here. Adelaide's pretty expensive. Uh, but you know, it's, it's crazy. So if you're serious about something, okay, so maybe you got kids, you got a whole family, you ain't coming to Chiang Mai, you ain't coming to Adelaide. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create Chiang Mai or create Adelaide. You can might be in Ohio or buttfuck Kansas or wherever in Georgia you may be. Or you might be in Sweden or whatever. You're gonna create that environment and everywhere in the world you can get rice, sugar and fruit. That's your free foods all you need to focus on ever again. Rice, white rice. If you like brown rice, eat brown rice. I don't really like it, I like white rice. Natasha, what do you prefer, white or brown? Uh, white. White rice. Kempner diet. So just three food groups. If you're obese, fat, want to get lean, white rice, any fruit, sweet fruit, sugar. Harley, do obese people need to eat vegetables? Do they? I'm asking you. Do diabetics need to eat vegetables? People have diabetic diabetes, type two diabetes, because they're eating. They think chicken's a vegetable, <laughs> right? So no one's gotten diabetes because they didn't eat enough broccoli. Let's do, okay, let's do four food groups. Throw in some vegetables there, just for people who. Are scared they might get a protein deficiency because they don't have enough uh, broccoli. Or oh, bits. that's not what I'm asking though. What's your asking? I'm just saying that I think vegetables are important too. Why? Because micronutrients. Micronutrients. I don't think anyone on the planet, I've never met anyone who's got a nutrient deficiency. But eating vegetables certainly makes you feel better on top with fruit, sugar, and rice. There you go. I don't know about you, but that's what I feel. Yeah, well, so add in some veggies. I don't eat much veggies, but if you find you need veggies, then I'm okay with people eating broccoli and lettuce. Right? I'm okay with that. But I guess the issue with obese people, most obese people, correct me if I'm wrong, what do you think? 
most obese people don't like eating lettuce and broccoli because that's why they're obese in the first place because they prefer it. they think chickens are, if it's like shaped like a chicken's so like shaped like a broccoli stalk oh, this is a, this is the same shape you know this is the same sort of Homer Simpson person but or like they think uh, you know a lettuce is like a piece of chocolate it's the sort of same shape it's flat and it's large it's, sort of, it's the same thing so yeah vegetables in there chuck them in there if you want to you don't have to I, when I say fruits, rice, sugar, that's where you get your calories, that's what's going to keep you satiated. But if you want to have some salad in there, do that. But no oil. No oil. And no animal. No nuts and seeds. Fruits, vegetables, if you want them. Rice, sugar, fruit juice. Anything sweet from a fruit. If it comes from a fruit, it's good. Now, this is an avocado. But anyway, that's 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 this reality we're living in. If you want, you've got to be obsessed and dedicated. Like Natasha behind the camera, she's obsessed and dedicated. She'll never be obese because she's just so focused on being slim, fit, walking down the street, and everyone's eyes on Natasha. Guys with girlfriends and kids holding their hands, they got they permanent Natasha. You know, guys on Instagram with kids, they they got photos of their wives, and they're like, "Love you so much, sweetie. Twenty years together, and they'll be messing Natasha. Like, oh my God, you're so fucking hot. When can we meet up? You know, so like." Because that's, that's what Natasha likes to be. She likes to be this like aura, just walking down the street, everyone's like, boom. So she ain't ever going to be a KFC lover. Because if, you if you're a KFC lover, you're going to be a chunky lover. All right? This is how it is. So everyone who's obese and fat, all my friends, we know why. It ain't because you love bananas. You might love chalk dipped Cadbury cream bananas with zero fruit content. All right? So we get it. I love, I'm lean because I love rice, I love fruit. I love sugar. I love riding bikes as well. I'm fit because I love riding bikes. I'm not fit because I love basketball. I used to love basketball, cycling. For years. Anyway, I'm digressing. It's meant to be a three minute video. Get obsessed about the good shit and forget the fucking rest. Forget any motherfucking keto, low carb, and eh, doing right doesn't know what he's talking about. Whatever. Just show them. So, okay, so doing right doesn't know what he's talking about. How come his girlfriend always fit and hotter than yours? Always. How come doing right is leaner than you? and doesn't have to run on stims. How come Drew Rider can travel the world if his advice is wrong? Can be financially secure, set for life, financial freedom, all right? So blah, 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 I can rag, rag and rag and on. But just, that's what you gotta do. If you wanna get results, get fucking obsessed. Go crazy, but have fun as well. You wanna be, you wanna be obsessed like, Arr! you wanna be obsessed like, yes, this is fucking working. This is gonna fucking work. You know, get it done. And that's what I do. I'm obsessed about shit. That's why I get results no one else is getting. But I have fun as well with it. There's no flexibility with Duran Rider, really. It's like, this is my way or the fucking highway. So make that in your life. My way or the fucking KFC highway. If you want all the information, I hate to be salesy, but go to DuranRider.com, get a copy of my two eBooks, Duran Rider's Lean Body Bible and the Carb the Fuck Up one. If you want a financial freedom, Get fit, carve the fuck up. If you want the ultimate weight loss, get Drew Nodders Anybody Bible. Those two ebooks, if you apply them every single fucking day and live by them, you will be a lean clown like me, raking in the cash, having an impact, having an income, having the best time ever every single day. Never have to worry about your weight ever again. In fact, you don't have to worry about your weight is getting too lean. And people on the internet will say, hey, you're too lean. The cars make you fat. But you, doesn't, wouldn't it feel good if you're obese watching this and your main comment on the internet is like, oh, you're too lean. You're too lean. You look like a six foot tapeworm with whatever disease, you know? So there you go. Get those books, seriously, get them, read them, live them. Don't just read them, don't just, I, don't, I don't want you to buy my eBooks and not take, I want you to take action on it, man. And they're updated constantly. So if you get, go to my website, you get the latest edition. See you in the road. Leave a comment of any tips you want and we'll bang out more. It's just a fucking choice to take control of your life or let someone else take control of that for you. Unless Duran Riders can, you know, there's not, most people out there don't give a fuck about you. They just want to take your money, give you some bullshit program and send you on your way for the next fad or scam. All right? I genuinely do give a fuck. I have a personal bias. I want to see more high carb vegans. I want to see more cyclists out there. I want to see more happy people out there. There's too many depressed, unfit, out of shape people in society creating heaps of pollution and toxicity. So I have a personal bias at helping people achieve the same goals that I've helped thousands of people achieve for themselves.